How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining us this week on another great episode of the Sportsman's Journal. Sarah and I are up at one of our favorite places in the world and we're doing something for the first time at this place. We're gonna ice fish at Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge and joining us today is good buddy, longtime friend, lodge owner, Todd Hacko. Hey Ty, how's it going? I'm doing awesome. Awesome buddy. I can't get the smile off of my face. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. We're going out of Morrison, Ontario. We're coming out of snowmobiles, which you provide. You betcha. We're gonna stay in your cabins on the island. Yep. Which are nice and warm. They are. 24 seven power. You bet. And we're literally, what? A quarter mile away from camp. Yeah, about three minutes, I think. Three minutes. Yeah, yeah, by snowmobile. And the fish are everywhere. They are, we're gonna sit up on a hump here and a point here, and I think we're gonna do okay. This is unbelievable, I'm so excited. If the fishing is anything like it is in open water, we're in for a treat. You're gonna have a blast. This is gonna be awesome. Everybody, this is an episode you're not gonna wanna miss. Get your notebook out and take down his number because you're going to want to come up here and take advantage of this awesome fishery in the wintertime. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Baitmate Fish Attractant. That took two seconds, yes, Sarah. It did. I literally dropped it down <laughs> on a macho that minnow. That was awesome. Macho minnow with no light bait. That's how is the it fish bigger is fish? out here. You don't even need to put meat on here. It feels good. I got out of there so we didn't get yeah. tangled. What is it? Oh my, oh my good gosh. lord. Look at this, guys. Look at our first fish. Oh crap. <laughs> I gotta get him. Do you got Look it? Look at oh that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> first wow. fish at Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge might be he was not messing around no he came up and hit a 1-8 pound or macho minnow like it was do you need, do you need pliers a gummy worm oh i might need pliers that thing got that oh, is look at this. awesome look at that fish look at the mouth on that fish. that fish where do we have this a is this thing? is no embellishment 30 seconds at tamarack we yes. drop down <laughs> and you catch a two pound crappie that fish right there is 14 inches Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at the shoulders on that. Wow. Look at that fish. What a start. Oh I can't believe my. it. How awesome is that? That, that is unbelievable. <laughs> Giant crappie. Now, if that continues all night, yeah. she is. That is, that's a special start right there. Put her back down there. See you, baby. So while Todd and I were talking to you, to start the show off, Sarah and Todd's son, Paul, were out drilling holes for us, which is really nice of them to do that. So we're gonna set up some finicky coolers. I just caught that huge crappie the first two seconds we were down there, so we know there's fish here. We're adjacent to a big rock hump behind us that tops off about 10 foot. We are literally two minutes from camp, so we're about a tenth of a mile away from Tamarack itself. Todd and Paul are up fishing on top of the rocks. We're gonna fish out in this big mud flat out here. We got one crappie, so there's gotta be more swimming around. We're gonna get walleyes, we're gonna get saugers, get rock bass. Um, big perch are out here. So the finicky cooler is the perfect tool to cover as much water as possible. Two lines is what you can have up here in Northwest Ontario for ice fishing. So we're gonna put the finicky up and see what happens. Tyler's up setting up a new cooler. I just had a big mark show up and he, oh my goodness, he's running. Look at that, what do we got? Come on, fish. Wow, okay. Could probably sit back down because he's not to the hole right now. But uh, I got a fish on. Well, there he is. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> nice. Wow. That fish did some runs. Oh man, that is fun. And this is why we're setting up some more lines, some, setting up some more coolers so we can get these guys because they're just kind of roaming around on this in this hole that we're in and um, so they'll come through and then we're hoping to get them on the wave as they go around us and uh, the wind died down a little bit so we're a little bit more willing to hop outside but that's this is why look at that oh, so fun he's there he come he's coming to you he's coming up I can, you're above me he's coming right up to you get ready there he is he just showed up on your screen nice oh my god it's little 
What's that? I think it's little. I don't think so. That's a nice bend in that All Star. Oh, I don't feel like I can hardly feel the fish. Really? Yeah. Now remember, you got a lot of. I know, I got a lot of ice. There's there. about 30 inches of ice here. You got to make sure. Oh, it's a walleye. What's a walleye? Hold on. I don't want to get. You know what? I got to put my still gloves on. Yeah, you do. There you go. Look at that. There's well, the he's a decent species. walleye. Yeah, he is. He's, he's I excited. could barely feel that fish. Wow. He's excited to be on the TV here. Yes, he is. You know what? That's your fish, and I'm marking fish. So here. That's a perfect eater right there. Yeah, if you want to come up for nice. a mixed bag of delicious. Of pan, deliciousness? Pan fried <sighs> fish on your trip. I might need the pliers. Let's you need pliers? Can, no, maybe I got it out. Okay. He sucked that bad boy in. Yeah, he did. Nice work. He was hungry. That's a perfect eater. 16 inch walleye. Look at that, yeah. 16 inch walleye, 14 inch crappies. In the same hole. I, I like this. I know. This is fun. This is just is a, this is just a blast. Yes, it is. I well, mean, you, you can't ask for better ice fishing. You come no. up, you sit, and you get yeah, big huge crappies, delicious eater sized walleyes. I you know I mean who knows what else we can pull out of there. <laughs> it's oh be my awesome. gosh, I'm so excited. Hey, let's eat that one. Okay. Put him on the ice. Plag. Which one? Mine. You want me to do it, or you want it? I'll go. Okay. Ah. Maybe that's that big fish mood over there. Maybe. Big old bruiser. We got a pooler. Flag up. And it is very windy out here. The cool thing about the poolers is that Tom made these things perfect for the wind. Very low wind trips on them. So when it flags up, it's pretty much a fish. And we got one right here. Let's see what we got. Our first one on the floor at a lake of the woods. I don't want this to blow away. And are you kidding me right now? Look at this fish. He got caught sideways because he's so big. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. He's caught on the... There he comes, there he comes, there he comes, there he comes. Oh no. Come on, Trampy. He's bottom lip hook and I don't want a hook in the finger, really. We're just going to grab him old school. <laughs> How about that? Is that not a big crappie? Are you kidding me? Sarah didn't want to get up to come get this one because of the wind. And sure enough, look at that thing. Got him on the Northland eyeball spoon. Those things are awesome for dead sticking or for the fooler. I love them. They attract fish from a long ways away, especially in Lake of the Woods here where Todd's at. There's a lot of dirty water stain. You can see when we drilled those holes, you can see it's kind of rusty colored, yellow. And these are big profile bait, and fish can come up and see those from a long ways away. And look at that. Not only does it catch walleyes, perch, catches huge crappies. This is awesome. You guys have seen us catch these big crappies in the fall out here at Tamarack. Now we're doing it in the winter. There is nothing better than pulling up 14 inch crappies through the ice. What a blast. Sarah. Yes. I got one. I see that. Awesome. Got him. Got him? Nice, Sarah. I like this. There we go. You just got done saying there's lots of fish on the screen. What do you got here? Remember that know. hole? 30 yeah. inches of ice. Yep. I got my forage uh, minnow whoa, is whoa, whoa, whoa. not the Actually, biggest, but it's still, yeah. It is. We got another crappie. another crappie. If I could get them. You know what? But it's a, it's a mini compared to the other it's ones. But look at that. Nice. nice job. That forage minnow is producing for me now. Yeah, it is. Minnow head. Oh, yeah, look at the fish. You gave Take me this. the Yep, I got it. I got it. You gave me the minnow bucket, so I got it. Oh, here we go. I got my nice live cooler over We're here. We're about ready to tap double. He's coming up hard. Only thing is tough to get these little hooks out. Holy man. Here he comes. Watching Tyler do his thing, here too. Come. There we go. Wow, this is just awesome. Yes. Right, here. Oh, flag. Nice. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Hop out. There we go. Got a flag. Hopefully it's still running. Oh, I want to fish on it. Come on, fish, fish, fish. The top off. I got that. Don't let it blow away. He's there. Wow. Feel good? Yes. Feels like a nice fish. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is so much fun. I want to be able to see my hole so it doesn't get stuck on it. Crappie or walleye? I don't know. 
or big jumbo perch. I think we just got, I think we're in the hole. You in the hole? I think. Yeah, the water's moving. Know. Keep them coming. This part makes me so nervous. Just keep it line tight. Yeah. Can't see anything. Yeah, we, definitely. Got a, we got a ton oh, of a nice ice. Walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. I'm just going to whip them up real quick. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Oh, he swallowed that. He swallowed her. Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. We just need to get the pliers, anyway. but look at that. It's a nice little 15 inch. Here, you take them. I'll go get the pliers. Okay. Got them? Yeah. Good job. Look at that. Finicky Fuller strikes again. This is so much fun. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Badger Sportsman Magazine, number one in the Midwest since 1943. Here he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get that thing out. Quick, 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 quick. Yes. I don't want to get a hook in my oh finger. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Holy <laughs> buckets. <laughs> Look at the mouth. Like. Jeez. Can I hold him? No, he's not. No. <laughs> that is a huge crappie. That might be, that's, I think. Oh, a I got another line on my screen. Right there through the ice, guys. Wow. wow. That what? is. A beast. Yeah, that's crazy. That fish right there is going 15. And oh my goodness. And he just popped off there. There's another one high. No, I just Are you, went, is I he just, on you? No, I just went up to him, but no, he's dropping off now. We'll go back down to him. What a fish. Holy cow. That is a dandy. That's beautiful. Unbelievable. Come on. God, hit that thing. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Good fish. Yeah. What, what, what's going on there? My reel was <laughs> clicking my coat. Don't let go of that. It made me nervous. I just got my big crappie in here. Oh, boy. Okay. Just threw my big one back, and then as soon as mine got down the hole, Sarah's got, he's at the hole right now. Yep. Just keep that tight. Okay. Here, here he's comes, coming. Here he comes, here he comes. It's a tulipy, but it's huge. He's oh my beat gosh. up. Look at the size of this tulipy, guys. What is wrong with that fish? Oh, my gosh. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy buckets. Whee! He is beat up. Yeah, yeah. That is a huge, that's why Todd gets huge muskies out here. The Cisco that are swimming around out here in Lake of the Woods are huge. Look at that. That's a 16 inch Cisco. I'm going to bring it oh, down to I him. I got one on me now. He just came up. Oh, yeah, he's all over it. Nice job, Sarah. Missed him. Happens. He's, he's still there. there. He's still yeah, there. He just showed up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Nice. Oh, come on. He gave me a second chance. I can't blow this. <laughs> oh, boy. You got the. Probably I got another tool. You got the forge minnow on. Yeah. So your hooks are a tad smaller. Yeah, and the one's bent funny. Yeah. But that was my fault from getting it out of the last tool be. This isn't a tool be though. I don't think so. Well, I'm not gonna it's say fighting anything. like a tool be. It's fighting like tool oh, be, but no. it's not. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome on that one. Yeah, you saved what my butt on that beast. one. Oh my goodness. This wow. Is this is stuff that I dream about. All summer long, if I'm gonna go ice fishing. No, that Huge slab. Yeah, I thought that was a tool be the way it was it. fighting, and then it popped out awesome. right at the top of the hole. That you know is, what though? I'm going down. I mean, there. Tyler's gonna take all the credit for saving that. Yeah, one, but that's basically. He would have had a hard time turning around, so you know. <laughs> that is true. Eight, eight inch hole. Yeah. Let's lay him across the ice of the hole once. That's, just show the size of those fish. That's crazy. I mean, that's. I mean, look at look at my hand. Yeah. That I mean, these fish are just. We're not messing around when we say these are. Those trophy class fish crappies that this we're catching awesome. and i mean we're not this is not just one i mean this, no, is, this is almost every time yep. it's crazy i'm just gonna show everyone what i'm using so i am taking a minnow and we're using crappie minnows not huge and what i'm doing is we're just putting a little meat on um so we're just pinching them right behind the gills and uh, just use his head just for the meat forage minnow northland 116 ounce perch color and it is on fire taking that minnow head and I am hooking it up through the lips and just up through the head. And the reason for that 
is so that I have some separation between the tip of my hook and my bait so I can get a better hook set. You have a vertical presentation. You want that meat to be vertical as well so it looks smooth. That's what I'm using. I like it looking. That's oh, a yeah. ginormous mark. <laughs> it's that mark on there. That's crazy. <laughs> that mark is huge. All right, I'm not gonna lose this one. It's not fighting like a tool behind. Something, huh? did you, do you yeah, have my he line? He might be over there. You I might think have you have my line. Okay, you might have to open your, Open your bail, hon, because okay. if this is a 16-inch crappie, he needs to come through this hole. No, I don't think you have my line. Oh, my I goodness. Whoa. I, got, I, got, I, I think got. you touched my line, but... <laughs> wow. What a fish. How come you don't want to bite mine? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you why he wanted to come over to me. Let me show you why. Oh, boy. I got good stuff. Macho minnow. You know what? I use macho minnow... If you watch a lot of our ice fishing shows, I always have macho minnow on. Walleyes, perch, We're check, make sure crappies. Even I catch big bluegills on them. It's because they produce. I love mm. the macho minnow. You got the forage spoon on, but you notice yeah. both colors. We're both going perch pattern. Yeah, yours is bigger than mine. And that's been real good for us, especially in yeah. Lake of the Woods. There's tons of perch forage in Whoa, here. Big old fish to Oh, yeah, you better bottom. get down there. Yep. That's a nice one. But look at that crappie. Isn't that awesome? So we are out here on our lunch break, and it's fantastic. For me, those of you who watch know that I love food and I love snack time. And Todd actually delivered us a hot meal, which is incredible. One of the great things about being out on Lake of the Woods is right now we're the only people out here. Yeah, Saturday, we, Saturday afternoon. Yes, Nobody it's, it's insane. Yep. Women and children are one of the biggest markets coming into fishing. So if you're watching us and you're either in one of those markets or you're somebody who knows somebody that wants to get into it and ice fishing is something that you want to try, this is a great opportunity because of all you guys have to offer. Right. Tamarack will come pick you up. They'll bring you out to the island. How are we going to get here? Snowmobiles and, and sleds to pull behind the snowmobiles. So we'll load all your gear So you there. can load all your gear. And yep. trust me, we had a lot of gear and it all came out safely. Hair dryers and all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring that. <laughs> but, um, and then we get out here on a snowmobile. Then you can rent the snowmobiles to go to your spot to and yeah. from. And if you have your own, you can certainly bring your own too. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we have a bunch of portables. We have like eight snowmobiles that we rent out. We got augers, we got vexes. Um, we'll take care of you. So, it's, yeah. yeah, so if you want to get into it, you want to learn, or maybe you are somebody who's already doing ice fishing and you know somebody who wants to come with and they don't have the gear yet, Tamarack can hook you up. Right, absolutely. And not only do they have the gear, they have the fish. We, the fish is pretty good. It's amazing. <laughs> piles of them. It's piles of them. Todd loves to say that. They got piles of them. Got a flag. Ooh. Oh, line's moving, line's moving, line's moving. Ooh, better? Looks Doesn't good. feel huge, but it was pulling pulling line out when I got here. Out. Yep. What do you got? Oh. At the hole already? Feels like it. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens here. I know. <laughs> this part always makes me so nervous. Doesn't it? A little more. Pull his head out. Come I don't on, see him fish. yet. Are no. you still whacking it? No. Just remember, don't there. the key when you get to that bottom of that hole, don't give him slack. Yeah, Keep yeah, it tight. Yeah. He'll Here work he his way through. Oh wow, it's a nice crappie, Sarah. Nice job. Yes. Nice job. On the fooler. Not as big as yours, but no, but look at that hook. That is Perfect a nice on one. Awesome. Yeah. Tell you what, those eyeball spoons are he was running with made it. Perfect for this. Come on there. There you go. I gave him the business. You gave him the business. Take it. <laughs> nice fish, honey. Mm -hmm. We'll put that one back. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Big crappies. You know I love them. <laughs> wow. You're excited about this one. There. Oh. Nice. Yes. Well, you know what? I would sit here and get double 15s, but it's a 15-inch crappie probably, and I do not want to lose a 15-inch crappie, no, and I'm sure not. you would be really mad if I didn't come help you. Stuck on the ice. I stuck on the ice. Oh my gosh, my lure is stuck on the ice. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at the shoulders on that fish. I want to hold my own fish. I know. You've Look got your big one there, huh? Uh -huh. That is unbelievable. That is, look at how thick that fish is. That is insane. I mean, these are. And you had two of them charging up? Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have another mark on the screen right now. You're averaging 14 to 15 inch this, crappies this up is here. This is insane. Unreal. I can't believe it. I mean, I don't know how many times we're going to say that, but this is insane. Look at the shoulders on that fish. We want to make sure we can release this fish. So yeah, that's a get huge one. In. That is, but, this place is special. See this right oh, there. Right.
and he won't eat. Oh, there. I there I go. Like to say, I gotta turn this off because it's gonna wreck our video. He put on while I was eating. Oh wow. Oh wow. What do I got here? You might be tangled in my line. I might be. I don't know what I got. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. quick, 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 quick. Yes. <laughs> Beast mode. Oh, he's right. Bottom lip hook. Can you get him out of there? I got the pliers right here. I don't know. The hook is right by my thumb. You got it. I promise I won't catch you. Just a little more hunt. One more. Yep. There you go. Macho minnow. Yeah, I think you did have mine. I use no, a macho minnow all the time. Because it works. Look at that crappie, guys. This is fantastic. These are just huge. That thing all crappies. over that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I spend a lot of nights dreaming about fish like this through the ice, and we get to do it. That's yeah. so much fun. That's a that is another 14 inch crappie. What a slab! Unbelievable, beautiful fish. I love it. You gotta get up here and take advantage of Tamarack Isle in the winter time. They have so many different spots to fish. The accommodations are awesome, and the fishing. Is world class crappies, walleyes, jumbo perch they catch out of here, big pike. I can't believe this is phenomenal. The fishing we're having right now, actually, the yeah. crappie fishing is. This is awesome. This is I'm. We're coming back next year. Done deal. Next year, I think we're gonna come back in two weeks. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Sarah, one of the best experiences I've ever had ice fishing. Yeah, you are in your dream trip right now. <laughs> this is not only is it crappie fishing, which Tyler is always after me to go and do, but big. Big crappies. Big slaps. <laughs> and not only are they big crappies, but we're out here doing it with Todd. Yeah. Todd and does a great job here amazing. at Tamarack. It's the experience to come up here and ice fish Lake of the Woods is pretty special. And it's cool, as we talked before, that Todd, there's not a lot of competition out here no, for Tamarack there's Island. Not. There's not a lot of people. There's a lot of fish. Yes. And it's actually pretty easy to do. He supplies everything. Yeah. we. So this is, I mean, we've obviously been fishing on Tamarack open water. This is our first ice fishing trip. And I'd say it ranks right up there with one of our top trips oh yeah it's, it's the best ice fish experience i've ever had it's been unbelievable um todd made it super easy super relaxing we had a great time uh we're gonna have a great time this evening just kind of relaxing having fun technology isn't going to be distracting us and we're going to have an, an incredible awesome fish fry. fish fry yep everybody we hope you enjoyed the show this week we had a great time up here at tamarack island we'll see you next week on the sportsman's journal to plan your next trip to Lake of the Woods, give Todd a call at 204-792-2097 or check him out on the web at TamarackIslandWildernessLodge.com. Badger Sportsman Magazine is the longest running outdoor magazine in the state of Wisconsin. Badger Sportsman provides you with the best information from local Wisconsin guides and professionals so you can be successful in the outdoors. Whether you're in a boat or a tree stand, Badger Sportsman Magazine is the new go-to for information on duck hunting, deer hunting, hard and soft water fishing, and more. Enjoy our product reviews, quick tips, and all of our articles on our website today.